Thank you to the patrons for supporting this extra video. I now have 69 of you, and that means Schmeichel can now be fed 69 times a year. If you want to help me make more videos like this, check out my Patreon page. Hello fellow engineers, welcome back to Timberborn. Unfortunately we're still in the preview demo, the actual game hasn't come out yet, but since I last played, the demo has been updated with a few little fun things that I want to try out. And here we are in Beaverton, Beaverfornia. As before, as this is a Patreon funded video, I am going to name all my beavers after my Patreons. And these will just be picked at random from my top tier. Alright, so having a little zoom out of the level, looks like we've got a bit of a River Thames thing going on. I think our water flows from this side. Yeah, so it's flowing that direction this time. Uh, so I feel like there would be a perfect place for a dam, potentially. This is a huge map. Why is this map so big? <laughs> I'm not used to this. All right, let's hit pause and we'll get some stuff ready to be built. So first things first, we want some... We want a log pile. So that will allow logs to be stored. So I'll bung that there, and then we can come down to here, cut trees, and we can highlight all of these trees to be cut. We're also going to cut all the trees down here as well. And you, little baby tree, you thought just because you are a child you would escape? Never. Now uh, we also need some paths, so I'll build a dirt path to the log pile, and then another one straight down here for something I have planned in a little bit. All right, we'll press plate, and then hopefully these guys should start moving. Yes, there they go. They're off. So who is this? Jonathan Rama, first one to do some work. Good work, sir. <laughs> if only you could tell your mates to do the same. They're all just... Look at these guys just chilling. Who is that? Jono Purdy. Blubber Buns. Just lazy. Absolutely lazy. There you go. Blubber Buns didn't like the lazy talk. They've gone to chop some trees. Right, in the meantime, we need to think about food supply. So I'm going to build some gatherer flags. So if we... You can see You can see there's like a bit of a, bit of a range... So if we plop this about there, I guess. Yeah, we'll plop it there, and I think that pretty much covers everything. Oh no, actually, no, we'll do it up there. We'll do it up there. That's way better. Way better, Matt. So we've got to gather a flag. We'll just need to build a path to it. And when that's built, someone can start gathering berries to keep everyone fed. Uh, so if you haven't seen this game before, basically it's got two sort of seasons. We're currently in the wet season. This is where the river is flowing as it is. And you can see, like, the grass is green. The berries are burying the trees are treeing uh, all is well in beaverton but come the dry season this will dry up and therefore all of our lovely greenness will turn to death now also i've just noticed <laughs> look at this i think my face is the sun or my left shoulder because look as i move my head the shadows move <laughs> i am god i control the sun uh, anyway sorry i got a bit carried away there all right so things are being built which is good. I wonder, can I get rid of that? Demolish. Nice. I have a feeling one of our beavers is going to get inside a wrecking ball and get rid of that. I wonder who it will be. Now, in the meantime, you may have noticed there's lots of little green patches about. So these are sleeping mats. They currently have nowhere to sleep. They are homeless beavers. Now, I quite like that I can delete a sleeping mat if I want to. So if any of you misbehave, looking at you, honey bum, uh, I'll delete your sleeping mat and then you will be in trouble. Uh, but also I can start thinking about building some lodges. So this is where they live. So I'm actually going to shove one there. And you can, it looks like you can stack these up. I didn't really dabble with that last time. But uh, definitely something I want to consider. I also need to start thinking about our water situation. Because although it is only the first day of the wet season. It's always a good idea to sort of dock up on water. And I don't even think, I don't know, are these getting thirsty? Hey Yonko, are you feeling thirsty? Yeah look, he's half thirsty. So I think at the moment there's no way of drinking. So if we build a water pump and a water tank, you know, we should all be good. Right, where are our beavers? They're all, oh, they're all sleeping. Yeah, so these are my Patreon beavers. I really need to look after these guys. La my last video didn't end too well for them, if I'm honest. Uh, but hopefully I've learned enough where we can improve. I've just remembered how this works, actually. I need to create more jobs. So if we click on this, this is our builder's hut. You can see we've only got two worker places. So we can up that to four. Now you can see Jonathan Rama and Matt Nichols are now joined by Night Joe and Steph. So we've now got four people that can build for us. Now this one here is a lumberjack flag. So Jono Purdy and Flubber Buns. They're currently our two lumberjacks. You can see them here. There's Flubber Buns carrying a log. Now, but everyone else literally just stood around doing nothing 
absolutely nothing. So what we can do, we can actually build some extra jobs, if you like. So we come into the labor, we can we can build a builder flag if we want more builders, or we can build a hauling post if we want people to help haul. So we could shove one of these in there, and that will provide some jobs just to help the old lumberjacks out. Oh, right, look, so over here we now have our gatherer flag, and Omka, which is this little beaver here, you can see he's now picking berries. And he'll take them back to his post and then people can eat them. So up the top we've got our food. We've currently got 103 berries. And you can see as he carries the crate of berries back to our warehouse, which is in the bottom down here. This number should go up. Ready? He's just got in 106. Good work, Omka. Right, I'm not sure whose job it is to demolish this. I'm going to prioritize high. Here we go. Someone's coming over. It's Matt Nichols. Ready? He's in his wrecking ball. You might have to imagine it. But uh, it's going to make a hell of a mess. I do not want to miss it. Oh, there it is. And then the water's coming through. Nice. So now we've got like our own little reservoir type thing. And what we could do, we could build a dam here. So when the dry season comes, we've got like an extra supply of water. Yeah, so we'll keep that in mind. It looks like everyone's thirsty. Have, have I cocked this up? Why is that not being built? We've got logs. Prioritize. Come on, guys. What are you What are you doing? They're prioritizing building their houses. Stupid beavers. <laughs> you don't need a house. You need a drink. All right, here you go. They're coming now. They're coming now. Night Joe leading the cavalry. Right, so in the top right, we've got this diagram that sort of shows us the day. So you can see sunlight starts here, goes all the way around and finishes there. And then that's nighttime. We can change the working hours of the day. So currently it's on 16 hours a day these beavers are working for. Now you can up that in emergencies and you can reduce that, but I'm quite a hard taskmaster and I want my beavers to work hard, not hardly work. So sorry, guys. They're all really thirsty. I'm sorry, guys. We, we might lose a few beavers here. Hopefully, EGB, as soon as he wakes up, will get straight on it, though. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. So the water pump uses the latest in log technology, and it pumps water out of the river and into this building. If we prioritize this next, so this is a water tank, then someone will take water from the pumping station and put it in the water tank, meaning all the beavers can come down and have a little slurp to drink. Uh, the guys, they've built their first house. Oh shit. Oh no, we've just lost Omka and Blubber Buns. No. <laughs> oh, this has happened already. We're only on day three. Oh dear, I'm sorry Omka and Flubber Buns. Uh, I, I did try and make you go for a drink, but uh, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come into the builder hut and I'm going to reduce the builders by one. So one of you have just been sacked. No, it looks like I still need two die, didn't they? So we need to reduce another one. So Jonathan Rama, you got sacked, but now you are the berry king. You must carry on Omka's legacy and pick all the berries you can. All right, so you can see in the left, we've got nine beavers for six houses. So three of them are still homeless. So we are going to look at building another house. We'll shove that there. We've only got, well, we're basically out of logs now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build another lumberjack post. So this lumberjack flag will go there. We're also going to build a small warehouse. And by building that there, that's directly between this gatherer flag and this lumberjack flag, meaning these guys don't have to travel so far. So once they pick their berries, they can just go straight into the warehouse. Likewise, once they start cutting these trees, they can do the same. So I'm going to go into cut trees and I'm going to tell them, mark all of these. They're all good for wood. All right, so I've just noticed actually this hauling post, it doesn't just need logs, it needs planks. Now you need to create planks using like a wood mill. Uh, so that was a very big error on my behalf by building that. So I'm going to delete the hauling post. Hopefully I'll get the logs back. It doesn't look like I did. I should have just left it then. Oops. Uh, but anyway, we're going to we're gonna start going for some science. Because I know there's things we want to unlock with science. So we'll put our science hut in there. And then we'll have a resident scientist who will help us discover new things like carousels and flames of progress. <laughs> <laughs> Flames of progress, what? Yeah, as we've got the logs, I, we've also got a, I think we need to start thinking about a farmhouse. So I'm going to put a farmhouse there. And I'm also going to build just another house because I really do want to attract some more beavers. And the only way to do that is to have extra housing and also give them a bit of a social life. Oh, look at that. Our beavers are happier than ever. We have reached a new well-being high score. Four. Nice. All right, so it's another day in Beaverton. I'm trying to find where the campfire is. It's in social, so leisure and a campfire, right. So I'm sort of thinking up here, almost almost out the way of everyone. What's the range like? Now, okay, we're gonna have a campfire in the middle of our town. 
bang in there and that's where the beavers can come to socialize because beavers are a social animal they like to beaver around <laughs> how are you getting on egb oh look we've actually filled up with water so i can't remember when the dry season happens but it's always worth stacking up a few of those i think we need about five maybe more depending on how many beavers you get now, well, let's speed the game up and just watch some stuff get built for now because I don't think there's too much we can do until things are built. Yeah, so everyone has jobs. Everything's looking good. It's, it's the end of another day. Food situation still good. Still in the hundreds. Water, little bit low. All right, so it's another day and Honeybum has finally grown up. And as you'd expect for your first ever job in the world to be, they've decided to become a scientist. <laughs> So uh, they're going to be giving us science points. These things at the top. We currently have zero. Right, EGB, as expected, has stopped pumping water. Uh, but this time it's not actually his fault. It's because there's nowhere to store the excess water. So I'm just prioritizing one of these tanks just to keep him in a job. So shortly someone will be down there. Uh, we don't have anyone in the farmhouse. So I'm going to I'm going to remove one of our lumberjacks from up here. And that's Rin. And they are now a farmhouse worker. So first job of the day is to plant crops. So we can choose between carrots and potatoes. Now potatoes take six days to grow, so it might be a bit late in the season to do that. Uh, carrots only four, and I'm pretty sure potatoes need to be cooked, and carrots don't, potentially. So we're going to select a massive strip of carrots. And you can see Rin now, they are planting carrots for days. Three days later. All right, so Rin is planting away. These now just need some growing, I think. So if we go and have a look. So Rin is literally just sitting on their ass waiting for the carrots to grow. I think we can probably find a better job for you, mate. But uh, thanks for planting everything. Oh no, apparently I can't even sack Rin. They've literally got a monopoly in their job. Easiest job in the world. I'm surprised you're not an architect. <laughs> now, to be fair though, very important job planting the old carrots. Now the only thing we need to look out for is making sure they actually become carrots and f edible food before the dry season happens because when that happens this river will dry up. Remember I said everything that's green will go dark brown uh, meaning all of these carrots will die unless and it's a big it's a big unless but unless we can dam this up because that will keep water back here and it should keep things greener a bit longer. Right, you can see the campfire is done. So at the end of the day, people will come here to socialize and that will help their little social life bar, which increases fertility by 50%. Now, I'm also I'm pretty sure there's something along the lines of you don't want people in a house on their own because otherwise they won't. Um, What's the word? <laughs> Let's get it on. Uh, but yeah, you can see that they're, they're now in their little campfire. They are loving life. Look at that. Who's chilling out in there? We've got EGB after a hard day's pumping. Jonathan Rama, Honeybum, Rin, Peronites in there. Nice. So that's making them a lot more fertile, which is a bit gross. All right, so we've now got another water tank. So someone will keep filling that up after all the pumping is going on. So that's good. And the other two are still being built as well. We've got quite a backlog. Get it? Backlog of logs. Uh, but our food is getting quite low, so looking at this, our berries have completely run out. So Jonathan Rama, the grand berry master, he's having to travel all the way up here to get berries. And until our farm does something, I think food could be an issue. Rin is still just sat on their ass. <laughs> you lazy beaver. Uh, as we have so many logs, I'm going to start thinking about my next construction project which is damming this up. So ideally, we'd want to go across there to try and keep as many trees as possible. Yeah, but that does seem like a lot of damn pieces when we could just go across. It also looks like we're not going to be able to build that far because of the builder hut situation. Although maybe as we build more, we should be able to... Yeah, I think as we build more, we can go across. So let's get started. So hopefully I've done like the shortest route possible. But for now, I think we just keep the game running. Try and make our beavers get it on together. Because we want more babies. We've got no children. This is this is not the way a society should be. Oh, but look, look. Carrots are growing. That means Rin can't sit on their arse all day tomorrow. Ready? There he is. Nice. I'll tell you what, in hindsight, I probably should have made my farm a bit bigger. <laughs> 
Rather than sitting on their ass the whole time, I could have just kept expanding this. Oh well, oh well. Right, we've got loads of logs now, so I'm actually going to take someone off the lumberjacking. And I'm going to make you a builder. Oh, and look at this, our beavers are happier than ever. <gasps> we had a baby! We had a baby! And it's baby Lytle Brown. Ah. Right, and there he is. This is our new little, we can we can keep our thing. Look, he's having a little drink. Ah, look at him. Look at his little face. I don't know why he's so green though, but uh, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> right, so I think guys, we want to start prioritizing the dam. It's day 12. I have a feeling it was t every two weeks when the dry season hits. Yeah, so if we don't have long, it might be worth sacking off another lumberjack and putting someone in the farmhouse because I do want to make sure we pick up all of these carrots before the end of the season. Otherwise, I'll just die and go all crispy and no one wants a crispy carrot. Might also be worth damming in here. I'll tell you what, I will prioritize that one. So we've got a little bit of water. If we run out of water, we can build another pumping station, etc. But at least for now, it will keep this nice and green, which means our berries should grow. We can also plant new berries. So we can plant trees and bushes, uh, but we need a forester. A forester, we can unlock that for 60 science points. We have 87, so you know what? I might do that. Yes, we do want to unlock that. So now if we build a forester, look, they get a nice little, get a little watchtower thing. That's cool. Where are we going to want to plant? Near water, really. So yeah, maybe we'll put that there, sort of in the middle. Be a good little lookout location as well. What is over here? Looks like some like ancient ruins. Oh, there's like steel and stuff. Whoa, I wonder if there's like some law to this. Like everyone died except the beaver. Yeah, they're all over the place. Anyway, distracted. Let's speed up through the night. Look at everyone socializing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, nothing, nothing. I thought we got a new beaver for a second. All right, the dam is being built. The dam is built. Sweet. So now we've got some water in there, should we need it. Dry season is approaching. So this is our last day. I don't think there's any point in building this dam now. Or is there? I don't know. I don't know. I think let's, I think we've got to prioritize the water, haven't we? Make sure 100 food will last us the dry season, won't it? Will it? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, no, for the forester, we need planks. I didn't see that. So that's a complete waste, as usual. I'm good at that. I'm good at completely wasting time. Now, we do have someone unemployed because little brown has grown up. Ah, oh, what should his first job be? I think I'm going to have Night Joe look after you and you're going to be a lumberjack. Uh, meanwhile, we can unlock wooden stairs with 70 science points. We have 75, so I'm actually going to take the opportunity to do that. Yes, please. Because uh, I, I want to start building upwards. I don't want to take up too much space. I feel like multi-story beaver living is the way to be. So if we were to build stairs, I don't really know how they work is the only thing. Like, does that block the path? Yes, it does block the path. Okay. Oh, they also need planks. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, it says right there. They just, they need planks. You're an idiot, Matt. So that will go in eventually. And then I want to build another house on top. A mirrored house like that. Ooh. Uh, but but before we can do any of that, let's low prioritize those. Because we need a way to build planks. Now to do that, we need a lumber mill. But we need to power our lumber mill with power. Now, as the dry season is approaching, I don't think there's any point in looking at any of this yet. So for now, we're just going to try and hope they can build this dam in time. Because that really will save us in the dry season. Now, I really like... Can you see, like, the water's actually being affected by the dam? So where we've built this little bit of dam, the water's moving really slow and then speeding up through here because we've made it narrower. That's really cool, I'm not going to lie. As a drainage engineer, getting quite excited about that. <laughs> it seems as well you can build one and a bit a day. Looking at how fast that bar is filling up, I'm going to guess we've only got a day left. So probably not going to finish the dam, unfortunately. No, but we'll see, we'll see. We've got our backup lake, just in case. So priorities are fill up these two canisters with water. Well, or ideally, just get that done. Prioritize. So I don't even know if I need that bit. That little diagonal block might block the entire lot. Oh, look. <gasps> Hang on. We've done it. I think we got very lucky. The dam we put in, even though it's not finished, it stopped the water enough that this is staying green. Because can you see up here? This was the river. That's all completely dried out. We've done it. Oh, look. We can't actually finish it. It's too far from the builder's flag or hut. So if we want to finish the dam, which we do. Oh no, look, the water's coming back. It's coming back. No. <laughs> oh no, it's sneaking up. It's sneaking. Oh, bollocks. It's gone. 
We were so close. <laughs> we literally would have done that if we had a builder's flag. Balls. All right, so you're going to have to wait till next time to find out what happens. Will we survive to the end of the dry season? And will we finally engineer a working dam? Anyway, thanks once again to the Patreons. This video would not exist without you. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace, love, and parched beavers. <laughs> Bye, guys.